This video will demonstrate the correct procedures and basic rules that must be followed for everyone to enjoy shooting safely here at Andy Dalton. First and foremost, be mindful of your muzzle direction at all times, especially with your uncased firearms. Rule number one is the muzzle must be pointed up at all times. This rule is in effect while inside your booth, transporting your firearms to the check-in window, rifle pistol range, or shotgun fields. They should be pointed up or downrange only. Touchscreen computer kiosks have been installed for your convenience at registration. Simply scan your driver's license, conservation ID, or you can enter your information manually. Follow the prompts to determine how many will be shooting and what type of shooting you are planning to do. The screen above the kiosk will keep you informed as to your position and wait time. You will be called to the window to pay the small fee and will be assigned a shooting position. How you doing? Good. What can I do for you today? I just need a booth today, please. Can I shoot a pistol? Pistol, yes. Okay. You must check in and out at the registration booth. Gun racks are available outside the registration window to hold your uncased firearms as you check in. There is a small hourly usage fee that you'll pay up front at the check-in window. And if you stay longer, you will be charged an additional fee when you check out. Remember, hearing and eye protection is mandatory, so be sure to put it on before you go down to the firing line. You may only handle or transport firearms during a live fire session. You will know when it's a live fire session by the following. A. You hear shooting and or B. The numbered booth plates are orange. The Andy Dalton shooting range is a state-owned facility and there is to be no holstered or concealed carry firearms on the premises. Please remember, no rapid fire, holster or sling work and no uncasing on the back bench where people sit. Make sure to wear your eye and ear protection while on the line, even if you are just observing. You can locate your assigned booth by the designated numbers on the rear of each shooting bench, on the numbered white, orange, and green booth plates to the right of the booth, and up high on the front wall of the booth. We use the plate system for you to communicate back to us from the range. A white plate indicates an empty booth. Orange is the live fire color, and green is the ceasefire color. You'll need to immediately secure all of your uncased and unloaded handguns and long guns in their respective racks. Take your cased long guns into the booth and uncase them on the table or the floor of your booth, making sure they are pointed down range. If you have two firearms in a double case, remove the firearm that has the muzzle pointed down range first. Make sure the action is locked open before placing it muzzle up in the long gun rack. Then close your case back up, spin it around, and you will have the other muzzle pointed downrange. Set all your other gear inside the booth. Each booth has a target frame set up at seven yards with a fresh bullseye target. If you have a handgun, you may start shooting only during a live fire session and only from the yellow box painted on the floor of the booth. Each booth has the range rules listed. Please make sure that you read, follow, and understand them. If you are shooting a rifle and the seven yard target is too close, take a seat on the bench behind your booth and wait for the next ceasefire to be called. Shooters, ceasefire, ceasefire. Completely unloaded firearms, leave your action open. Place all of your unloaded firearms in the appropriate rack in the booth. When you hear the ceasefire, stop shooting and wait for further instructions. As a reminder, during the ceasefire, there should be no one back inside the booth and no one handling their firearms while we have people downrange. Follow all instructions given by the range officer. Some commands you will hear are Stop shooting immediately and listen for further instructions. Completely unload all of your firearms and make sure to remove or empty the magazine and clear the chamber. Open all actions and place all handguns in the handgun rack and long guns in the long gun rack. Chamber flags are available if needed. Exit your booth, make sure you have your bullseye targets 
and leave all firearms, ammo, and magazines in the booth. This tells the range officer that the booth is safe for the ceasefire. Once your plate is on green and the yellow strap is up, do not enter the booth or handle any firearms for any reason. If everyone in your booth has returned from downrange. Once you hear this, Line is now clear, you may proceed downrange. Proceed downrange through the stop sign gate to move or post new targets. The range officer will release everyone to go downrange at the same time. If you need extra pins or targets, you will find them in the center aisle. The shooting distances on the range are at 7, 15, 25, 50, 75, and 100 yards. Each lane downrange has booth numbers and yardages marked. If you look at the baffles and the boots that hold the frames, you will see those numbers. If you are leaving, remember to place your target frame back to the 7-yard line with a fresh target. Once you have your target posted where you want it, return back behind the firing line and take a seat on the bench to wait for everyone to return from downrange. If you are the last one through the stop sign gate, please pull it closed behind you. Remember, all shooters and spectators must be wearing eye and ear protection at this time. Once you've been released to go back inside your booth, you can continue to shoot, or if you're leaving, you can case your firearms and clean up your booth. All brass can be placed in the white brass-only boxes located on the back bench. Unfired or misfire rounds may also be deposited in those white boxes. Pick up all trash, including paper targets and any shotgun hulls, and place them in the trash barrels at the entrance to the range. Once you've gathered your gear, cased up your firearms, and cleaned your booth, head back to the checkout window to let us know you're leaving. All shooters must maintain control of their firearms at all times. Make sure to keep the muzzle of all uncased firearms straight up while transporting them. Thanks for following these rules and staying safe. Enjoy your shooting here at the Andy Dalton Range.